the 1960s, the nuclear tension between America and Russia was at an all-time high. In 1964, we had just had the Cuban Missile Crisis. Okay, so in the movie, they're like, we need to build a military base in Tennessee. They figured out there's this one mountain in Tennessee that they need to launch their missiles from. Mm -hmm. But the people who live there, they're like backwoods, hill people. They hate the government. They're like, who are we going to get to talk the people into letting us lease their land to build the missiles? Grandma? Uh, the grandpa from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> <laughs> Go find where he's in bed with his whole family. Wake up Charlie's grandpa. He did a bang up job with the Charlie Chocolate Factory. <laughs> So then Charlie's grandpa is like, okay, I'm going to need to find someone who knows how to talk to Tennessee hillbillies in their language. Uh -huh. Charlie's grandpa says, get me Elvis Presley. <laughs> 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 it's an Elvis movie. Hell yeah, Surprise. Elvis movie. So they're like, hey, Elvis, uh, welcome aboard. Doesn't your family live in the Smoky Mountains of Tennessee? And he's like, they sure do. Mm -hmm. In fact, all my cousins live up there. And he's like, well, come with us, Elvis. They pull up, and then immediately the hill people are they're like, cause they, oh, the hillbillies hate the army. Oh, okay. So the hillbillies start shooting at Elvis, uh -huh. and he's like, maybe they're not as nice as I remember. <laughs> and then he goes up, and then these two beautiful women come out of the woods with shotguns. And Elvis Presley's like, don't shoot me, babe. Don't shoot me, girls. <laughs> and then they go, Jody? Jody. And he's like, my name's not Jody. And then a guy comes out from behind a log, and it's Elvis in a blonde wig. <laughs> <laughs> And that's Jody. And he go, they go, you look just like our cousin Jody. Whoa. And he's like, well, I bet we, I bet in you and everyone's talking with that voice. I bet we can. He's right. like, did you marry the grandma of this lady? He's like, yeah, that's my family. He's like, we're all cousins. Oh, God. Identical cousins. And then the blonde cousin's like, he's like, we need to take you to, we need to go see Pappy. <gasps> We need to go see Pappy so he can get him to, you know, let's put the missiles in. Yes. And then the blonde guy goes, you don't go see Pappy till we wrestle. <laughs> and now Elvis is wrestling his twin, <laughs> which reminded me at first yeah. of when Kirk, around the same time Kirk wrestles his evil twin oh. in an episode of Star Trek. Or maybe Elvis was just a fan of the Patty Duke show. I don't know. Did you ever see? <laughs> That's another thing. So I think he was he was just getting in on the trend uh -huh. because there was um, right around this time there was the, the original Parent Trap, okay, which was Haley Mills plays her own twin. Mm -hmm. Elvis is like, I want Elvis wants to be his own twin. <laughs> I want to do it. I want to be me again. And they're identical cousins. And a year before this, the Patty Duke show came out, which was about identical cousins. And Elvis saw that. Yeah. You ever? You know, are you familiar with the Patty Duke show? No idea. Well, what if I told you? But Patty and Duke are identical cousins. No, Patty and Kathy. Oh, okay. What if I told you that Kathy has lived most everywhere, uh, from from Zanzibar to Barclay Square? <laughs> okay. What? No. <laughs> yeah, but Patty has only seen the sights a girl can see from Brooklyn Heights. <laughs> They're quite a pair. <laughs> They're cousins, Jordan. Okay. They're identical cousins. All right. Identical cousins? I hope you're getting... This was the trend in the 1960s. <laughs> the dumbest fucking thing. What if I told you that Kathy likes Minuet, <laughs> Ballet Russe, and Crepe Suzette? Oh my god. But Patty, our Patty, likes to rock and roll. Uh, yeah. A hot dog makes her lose control. <laughs> <laughs> They're cousins, Jordan. They're identical cousins. So... He's, ra he's wrestling his identical cousin, mm -hmm. and then the army comes in. So Charlie's grandpa's the captain, and then he comes in, and he's like, hey, you two quit wrestling. The mountain's owned by Pappy. Like, we need to talk to Pappy. And he's, they're like, okay, well, since you're here with one of our cousins, we'll take you to go see Pappy. So then uh, Pappy's not there, but Mammy's there. <laughs> Mammy comes out with a shotgun, and she's like, I don't care for the government. And then he's like, but you're here, but you're here, with, you're here with Cousin Josh. I think his name's Josh. Jody's the blonde one, and I think Josh is the El regular Elvis. Mm -hmm. And he's like, you're here with Josh, otherwise we'd, we'd shoot you dead. Mm -hmm. And they're like, but you can stay for supper and discuss your business with Pappy. Mm -hmm. And then Mammy, the, she's like, oh, no, it's the Kitty Hawks. <laughs> and then the Kitty Hawks are throughout the movie. There's this wild pack of hot young women. They're like hillbilly women, but they're beautiful. And they act like wild animals. And they travel in a pack. Mm -hmm. And... I think they said that like it's just this family that there hasn't been a boy born in 20 years <laughs> and they keep having daughters. Okay. So it's just this wild, it's just this pack of Nels. Uh -huh. <laughs> They're just like chicken may may in the wind. <laughs> Miss a guy angel, Mr. Chicken may may in the wind. And they just start attacking the army with kisses and hugs. 
<laughs> the army doesn't know what to do. I was thinking like this would be a way to fucking beat the army. Yeah. Just send in a pack of wild hot. They're like wild hill hot ladies uh-huh. in jean shorts and got a big hair. And then they're like, get, get kitty hawks, get. So then they chase the kitty hawks out. So they have dinner with the captain, mm. Charlie's grandpa, and Elvis. Mm. Then they're like, we need to talk to you, Pappy. But this guy's so dumb that they have to explain everything to him. Mm-hmm. They're like, we need to build ICBMs. And he goes, you saw me BM? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the government's watching me take shits? <laughs> and then they're like, get out of here. <laughs> and he's like, but I'll keep thinking about it. And then I'm pretty sure at this point, Elvis goes on a walk. With his two cousins, the blonde, they're both very pretty. Mm-hmm. It's a blonde one and a brunette one. And Elvis, he puts his arms around him and he sings a song about how he wants to have a three-way with his two cousins. <laughs> He's like, one boy is in love with two little girls. <laughs> oh, God. And he sings a song about it. He's like, He's like, three hearts, one boy. What? One love. Oh, no. Two times. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of math. <laughs> that one heart. Two, four tits. <laughs> two, 30, 30 toes? No, that seems like too many. Uh, who's got extra toes? <laughs> Who snuck the extra toes in? And then at the end of the song, they're like, okay, let's have an inner <laughs> test three-way. And he's like, I would love to have a three-way with y'all, but first we need to finalize arrangements for America's nuclear superiority. <laughs> He's doing all this for America. Yeah. I need to get you to talk to Pappy. Mm-hmm. They're like, we'll talk to him. Then Elvis, he kisses the one cousin, but then he tells the other cousin that she's the one he wants to marry. And she's like, I want to kiss you, Elvis. And then there's a funny thing where she's trying to kiss him, but she can't because he's too busy singing a song about how much he loves kissing. <laughs> he's like, a kiss is a thing that we do all the time. And she's like, dude, shut up. <laughs> shut your mouth. I'm trying to kiss your face. A kissing and a girl and a boy like to kiss. And then we cut to the cabin now, though. And the, now the girls, they become city-fied. The two girl cousins, they're wearing their bikinis. They're putting on makeup. Ugh. Fancy ways, city ways. And then the mom at one point is like, what are you putting on there? Face powder? That looks like flour. You better not get around the stove or you'll break out in biscuits. <laughs> And then so they cut to the big hoot nanny at the end of the movie. And it's a celebration because blonde Elvis is going to marry the one army lady mm-hmm. who apparently he just like wore her down in the woods. He chased her in the woods so much she agreed to marry him. All right. So they're going to get married. Elvis is going to marry the brunette cousin. It's a big party. And Pappy, Pappy keeps putting off the decision. He doesn't want to do it. Um, then blonde Elvis sings a song about how much he loves feet. What's up? He, Elvis, just goes full foot fetish. What's that? And he sings a song called uh, the bare, I Want a Barefoot uh, Ballad. What? Blonde Elvis is walking by a fence, and all of these women just have their bare feet up in his face. Like a, it's, a, it's like a foot fetish dream okay. where it's just a row of women with their feet up in the air, and he's just walking by going, Elvis loves feet. Oh, God. Yeah, it's real crazy. And then uh, the general finally shows up, and he's like, I need to talk to Pappy. But Pappy and the captain uh, have a moonshine drinking contest, and now the captain's fucked. Yeah. The captain is weekend at Bernie's. He's out of it. <laughs> and they keep trying to wake him up by giving him more booze, okay. which seems like a bad choice. Yeah. So like the captain's down, but the general can't know that. The general needs to think the captain's talking to Pappy. Mm-hmm. Elvis goes and talks to Pappy finally. They play checkers. Two dumb men playing the simplest <laughs> game. But the fate of the nation hangs in the balance. Mm-hmm. Eventually, he convinces Pappy. And the big number at the end of the movie is Elvis sings a song about how much he loves kissing his cousin. Hell yeah. Called Kissing Cousin. Damn right. And then he kind of makes a point like, aren't we all cousins? What? What's up? <laughs> no, holy shit. Isn't everyone related? No. And it's a big happy ending. But really, at the end of the day... Elvis has escalated nuclear armament. <laughs> He's brought us closer to the brink. Uh-huh. This is Elvis's Oppenheimer. <laughs> he could have looked at himself in the mirror after this yeah. and said, I've become death. <laughs> Fucker of cousins. <laughs> the past was doing its best. <laughs> That's the theme song. Leave them alone. <laughs> Leave them alone. 
<laughs> Leave them alone. <laughs> they were doing their best. 